Hello, I'm Delveen Delaney. Nearly 50 years ago, a rigger on the Sydney Harbour Bridge decided to go on a talent show to give the judges a dose of their own medicine. He was 30, married with four kids, had no TV experience, but he soon became a household name. He was, of course, Paul Hogan, and I was lucky enough to work with him for many years. The world knows him as Hoags or Mick Dundee, but I know a very different man, Paul Hogan. New Faces was a talent show that started in the 1960s, hosted at first by Frank Wilson, and it's sort of the Australia's Got Talent of its day, but the judges were really mean. I went on New Faces to take the mickey out of it. I'm one of the few people that ever went on a talent quest and had no intention or desire to win it. To get on the show in those days, you wrote in a letter. Dear sirs, I am Australia's leading tap dancing knife thrower. <laughs> well, that'll get him. He got sick of watching the judges strip the contestants into pieces in a mean way. That really riled him. Here we go. Tap dancing and knife throwing at the same time. <laughs> When it come to the part where they judge you, and I said, oh, I don't need that, I know I'm good, <laughs> and sort of walked off. And that was, uh, that's what began my career. The fact that um, Australian audience, television audience, knew I didn't care. 